Tadam. Over the past four or five months that I've been doing videos on this channel, it has been my goal to help people start with their pour over journey and not make them um, spend really. Because if we can do it the cheapest way possible, then that's a good thing, right? So, so today finally, um, three of the cheapest grinders I found on Shopee has arrived and we are opening them today. Okay, so this is grinder number one, I think. Oh yes. Okay, let's open this. <laughs> it's a vintage, it's a vintage, um, it's a vintage grinder, but it's really cheap. Oh, diba? It's made out of wood. Oh, I feel... Now that I'm seeing this in person, I feel like it's it's a novelty item. Mm. Well, now I'm just hoping that it makes good. It makes coffee. Anyway, it has a ceramic burr. And the body is made out of wood. There is a hopper. It's an open hopper. So I think if I'm thinking if you're gonna use it, then you have to. Yeah. That, I'm not sure if the coffee will stay put and not fly all over the place. Yeah. Right. But that is grinder number one. Let's open grinder number two. Again, these are the cheapest that I could find on Shopee. Okay, grinder number two looks a lot like the grinders that we use. It's a plastic body. Oh, and you can actually you can actually change the setting right away. Mm. Okay, but this one is more plasticky. It has a more common way of changing the grind size. Ah, no, this is not a plastic bird. This is ceramic. Okay, well, that's a nice thing. The alignment of the axle is really bad. But again, I will still play with this, uh, with these, and do some proper testing with the R2 and the Kruv. Okay, next is this one. It's a big one. Oh, and it's a set. So you have your grinder. And then it comes with a canister. And it's a glass canister. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, this one is a glass canister. The hopper cover is made out of rubber. And I think it has the same, it has the same schematics as this one. But the alignment here is better. And then that. Okay, um so I'm gonna play with these before we do some uh before we do Oh okay. So that's smart. Because it's a flexible silicone, you can just do that and then and it's everywhere. Okay, a 
that's the first one. Let's do this one now. No, I haven't I haven't set anything. I haven't changed any of the settings. Huh? Oh, because it's in the biggest. Okay, that again. This one, I feel like I'm gonna break it while I'm grinding coffee in it. Yeah, let's do that again. This one has the best. Um, this one has the best feeling so far. Yeah, it's very stable, and the alignment is nice. Okay, this one here is 179 pesos. This one is 199 and then I oh this is the most expensive one this it's 217 pesos I'm gonna test all three I'm gonna um, play with it know the ins and outs and um, I'm gonna try to um, bring out the best in every grinder and then we're gonna compare them we're gonna compare the three of them which one is the best and then we'll do some recommendations all right but for now thank you so much for watching in the next videos i'm gonna show you more about coffee bye